This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so this is the girl that Pop Smoke spent his last moments with. We talked about this. I don't get this, bro. It, 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 it was like a Russian bride, bro. Like, it, 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 it didn't seem like she spoke much English. I don't know. You know, it's like weird. And then I, I, I don't know. The, the way those guys got in the house and just surprised him in the bathroom was just, it's just horrible, bro. Like, uh, and she's on there talking about it. It's just on, on that 50 Cent thing. I got to watch that, that, the new 50 Cent show talking about rappers passing away. So many rappers are passing away that he's able to do a show about it. Got to move tighter around here. Um, here, we don't need to talk about that. Uh, then we'll talk about this Drake. Drake's energy on this album is... I like Drake. Don't get me wrong. I, I like Drake a lot. I don't know what... I don't know why he went this route of the album because the album's good. Okay, it's not a bad album. Okay. I don't love the album, but I like it. There's definitely like come on, Drake is dropping a lot more and you can't I can't be as critical because it's like at least you're dropping. Some people are too scared to drop. Drake's dropping. He's throwing stuff out here. You like it, you don't, you know, it's like it's not like you're buying it, it's a streaming thing, you know? So it's like enjoy it. Okay, so take the songs you like out of it. So there's a good, there's a couple good songs. I just don't get the 21, can you do something for me? It seems like feminine-ish. And then when he says, broke boys, I don't talk to broke boys. Like who wrote this? City Girls? Or Drake? Did Drake get inspired? I'm not saying he has a ghostwriter. I'm just saying like, come on, Drake. Like this is a City Girls anthem that you should, you, if anything, I feel like Drake <laughs> wrote this song and referenced it for the city girls because it doesn't sound like a drake song i don't speak to broke boys like i get it like you know you don't want to have broke people around you but like bro it sounds weird <laughs> people are having a field day with it on the internet i'm sure drake's laughing at it uh because at the end of the day i mean everybody he has the best sounding rap album of the year so it's like haha <laughs> but i just think it's funny in a way it's like woo. This is getting weird, Drake. I'm like, come on, you're on a you're on an album with a gangster, supposedly. Twenty One Savage is a quote unquote gangster, right? Uh, here's uh, Blueface. Now Blueface has gotten bailed out. Now I heard that this was over. Uh, him and his feelings about someone calling, uh, saying he's in a cheap car now in uh, Vegas, trying to holler at girls, and. I guess they thought that guy, when the guy, they beat the guy up and then he went back to his car, they thought he was getting a gun and they opened fire on him. That's that's allegedly what they're saying. Um, <clears throat> I just noticed, okay. And then he has to go back to court in January of 24, 2023. This is his bail. It's a $400 bail. It's because it's a $50,000 bail. You got to pay 10%. That's not that much for discharging a weapon. In January of 2022, Justin Bieber spent one million, one point one million dollars on this NFT. Today, it is worth under a hundred thousand. I think it, this whole thing. If you couldn't understand, it was just too much hype. When your barber, <clears throat> when the guy in the corner is telling you about NFTs and they're not financial people. And they're telling you about, you know, the latest coin, don't invest, okay? And that's what was going on with NFTs. Like, if you were able to get in and get over, <laughs> more power to you. But uh, it's a get in, get out situation at that point, you know? Little baby, I don't know what happened. I mean, I know, see, he tried to make it like he bought some NFT at a low price. I don't think he did. I'm going to be honest with you. Little baby wants people to think he's always making like boss moves, right? So I think he took a huge loss on one NFT. I think he bought it for like over 200,000. It was those, the monkey NFT that uh, Justin Bieber was buying. You know who really made out, made out from this? There was this guy in Charleston. I forget his name now, uh, but he was doing an like NFT day, a day before this all hit right 
So he really, I think he made a hundred million dollars. Wait, let me see. Let, so you can look it up. Charleston NFT artist. Beeple. Remember they were talking about Beeple? Well, Charleston NFT, his, his thing is temporarily closed now. <laughs> he had it open before. Uh, Charleston Beeple sells digital artwork for like millions. Like he's, I think he made a hundred million dollars, and uh, he built a NFT studio. You know, he is the biggest figure in the NFT space. But like Metaverse never took off. Everybody thought people were going to be hanging out NFTs and everything in the Metaverse. That never took off at all. Um, and now we're going to a recession. All this stuff is done. For a while, like trust me, when the recession, you're just trying to stay afloat. Um, Tory Lanez, you know, millions of people together trying to bring me down every day, but my mind is so strong, my confidence is too strong, my resilience is unmatched. All oh, glory be to God. This is wasn't that a Mike Tyson quote? <laughs> don't let uh, don't let no one control your mood or energy. Yeah, it, Mike Tyson did a speech like this, but he said, uh, "All praise to Allah." Then we got NBA Young Boys. Pilsley, he's hating on no cap. He says, I pay attention to all that slick stuff you be doing and saying, you B-I-T-C-H, what I call a real rapper. We don't do music because I don't mess with you. Stop speaking on me. Uh, these people, you my daddy artist. You my people, you my daddy artist. You a worker. You ain't my brother. Hmm. No Cap says, I see it's my turn this week, huh? I never did nothing bad, screamed. Uh, I screamed free you before and after every venue. Club I carried this stuff when you was... Uh, blah, blah, blah. When did I ever... Uh... Wait, let's see. I can't read it because it's, it's through this like crowd and he wrote it in white with where there's white lights. <laughs> Basically, he's like, you're a hater, blah, blah, blah. I'll be bigger than you soon. No, you, I don't, I don't know about that. I, I you No know, Cap is one of these artists where, like, I don't really hear people, like, really pushing his music, but the blogs push his music. I think he has a good amount of listeners, though. Like, so maybe it's just not my type of music, so I don't, like, pay attention to it. <clears throat> but uh, let me see. What are his monthly listeners? He's doing a month, million monthly listeners, so he's making good money. He has a couple songs that went. Anyways, I don't really care about the no cap, the latest no cap beef. Anyways, uh, then we got Taylor Swift. She was selling some of her tickets. Something went wrong with Ticketmaster. I guess the demand, twenty thousand for some tickets. Who's paying that to go to a Taylor Swift concert? Who's paying that to go to a concert? Period buy a car <laughs> a used car uh then we got little dirk <clears throat> he does the freestyle on uh for Khaled on that uh sneaker the new sneaker he has out who's buying these sneaker the Khaled jordans are people buying those well first he had jadakiss like he was keeping it real with the culture then <laughs> he puts a little dirk on. i knew he was gonna like do the same beat with like a younger artist too uh, that's about it, man. I appreciate you. Uh, Takashi's back in these streets, so watch, watch your back. <laughs> and uh, I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.